Welcome to Latin Nation, celebrating your generation from coast to coast. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. And I'm thinking that in times like these, what we need to do is fight for the important things, like your family, your friends, and your neighborhood. That's what our first story is about. Made in Venice is a documentary film that captures the first-hand stories and recollections of four decades of skateboarding in Venice. From the Z-Boys of Dogtown, to the latter waves of legendary street skaters, to those street legends like Jesse Martinez, who has helped build and maintain the Venice skate park at the heart of it all. Made in Venice takes you on a ride through skateboarding history. And up next, we catch up with Jesse and the filmmaker so you can see for yourself what makes this Southern California town so special, right here on Latin Nation. And Acción, brought to you by the U.S. Army. Find out more at GoArmy.com. Jay Adams and all the boys, they just said, here we are. Before that, skating was kind of squeaky clean, and here came the Zephyr team. This handled, just changed everything. This is the area where skateboarding started. Hi, my name is Jonathan Penson. I was the director and the producer of Made in Venice. We don't do boring. This is Venice. It wasn't a hobby for us. It was a lifestyle. I was in Venice uh, shooting with my brand new camera, doing some uh, time lapse and whatnot, and waiting for the sun to set. I sh went to the skate park for the first time. It, I'd been living in Venice for years, and I'd watched them build it, but I never actually walked over there. So I started shooting them, and then I talked to him. He's like, yeah, if you want to film something, come to the park at 4.30 in the morning. I'll be cleaning. I think he said that because most people wouldn't show up at 4.30 in the morning. At 4.25, I was there waiting for him. I thought to myself, is it really true? Are they really starting to clear the way for a skate park in Venice? And then, like, when they started digging, like, that was a big surprise. I couldn't believe it. Basically, all started about 1986 with a company called Bronze Age, the first guys to make a push to get a skate park in Venice, but it fell through very quickly. Then uh, Jerry Lewis, one of our longtime Venice locals, came out of the military and skater surfer found out, hey, wow charge to get a skate park. So along with him, me, many other people, Juice Magazine, a lot of locals, we pushed hard for close to 30 years to make it really happen. Basically, this is to ensure that Dogtown carries on. And we knew then the importance of getting a park out there because we could see the city evolving. All the guys my age and from the 80s and stuff, you know, the 80s crew, we all came into our teens and we grew up around the whole Zephyr guys and they showed us how to skate and you know how to act we knew if that skate park was not there that would be the end of it the long flight was a good fight it made me extremely proud to stand there and look out but yeah we did it i would say the politician's name but i told him i wouldn't right now but he came in and they killed our five-year contract after five years of cleaning that park they said no deal but what they didn't count on was i wasn't gonna stop i kept on cleaning the park I didn't need to drive onto the beach. I didn't need anybody's money. I'll spend my own money. So I continue for the last three years, that's what I've been doing. So for the last three years, me and the council member, Mike Bonin, have been going back and forth on this subject. And it hasn't been too fair. Well, when I saw the park and saw the troubles he was having with the city, even way back when, and that all he wanted to do was clean the park, I'm like, this gentleman does not have a platform he deserves to stand up on. I pushed every step it took to get this park from meetings to learning to lawyers. Made in Venice, the movie. That came about out of a necessity to ensure a third legitimate Dogtown crew. Everything I do for that park and every reason that park is there, every about the movie, everything was to ensure a third generation after I'm long gone. My son my friend's son, legitimate descendant, Dogtown descendant. The level of skating at this park today is second to none. You see kids trying things that the top pros are trying in the X Games. So there's no difference between the kids skating at the Venice Skate Park and the pros skating in the X Games. You know, I've gone through hell at that park. It cost me my skate career. I've dedicated myself so much to cleaning that park. I stopped. I didn't stop skating, but I stopped competing. But I wanted to ensure that Dogtown had a legitimate next generation who knew the, who they were, they knew how to carry themselves, and not to make the same mistakes we made. I lived and died to protect Dogtown. 